actually, I came up with something which is not only a point, but it's, I think, the point, which is really important for me. There was a very wise Hungarian who said, Chuck Chinat, but I have translation from somebody who speaks Hungarian. Chuck Chinat. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. So that's the point. That's the subject that I like to talk about. This is the, this is the most important thing for me. Now, before you get the idea that I'm going to be hectoring or haranguing or lecturing, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let me quote a, uh, another famous person. I don't think this chap is Hungarian, actually, unfortunately. I've got to on this a bit. Uh, John McEnroe, <laughs> uh, who said, I was talking to myself. And that's it. I am talking to myself. It's really uh, just do it is for me. Um, and if anyone finds it useful, then that's fantastic as well. So what, what tipped the balance to choose that subject? Well, last Saturday I had a big, a big birthday. It really was a big birthday. Lots of presents, including a free bus pass. <laughs> and I was talking to my young nephew, um, who's made several trips to Australia now, and I was saying, you know, I'd love to go to Australia. I'm thinking about going this year. I'm toying with the idea of spending Easter in Melbourne. Wouldn't it be nice just hang on a moment, Uncle David, said my nephew, fixing me with a steely gaze, with, which I think he must have uh, inherited from uh, one of his ancestors, either the policeman or the Presbyterian minister. And he said, I'm only 25, uh, but uh, since, uh, since I can remember, you've been saying, I'd like to go to Australia. You know what's coming next, don't you? If he was a Hungarian nephew, he'd be saying, chuck chin out, just do it. And he'd be right. So now I need your help, Toastmasters. I love coming here because we're so supportive. We can teach each other and help each other. I would like you to tell me, just do it. So can we actually just do that? Please? Let me start with that first. Just do it. Can you be a bit more emphatic and make a point at me? And you'll just, just do it. Do it. Just, do it. That's fantastic. Else. Just, do it. just do it. Just do it. I'm starting to get it. Richard. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Fantastic. Any language you like. Just do it. Okay, okay. Um, Chuck Chin out, maybe, yeah? Chuck Chin out. A bit louder, please. Chuck Chin out. Fantastic. This is exactly what we need to do. I could do that now I'm here with you guys. What am I going to do when you're not here? How am I going to remind myself? Well, I went yesterday, went shopping, and I bought myself an aid memoir. That's about as sporty as I get these days, I have to say. And here we are. Actually, it was surprisingly difficult to find this. Okay. Now, when you see me like this, you can tell I'm up for some hesitation, um, some circumvention, um, some procrastination, maybe some obfuscation. But when I've got this on... Just do it! Just do it! I just have to. Yes, come on, have a bit more there. This is the way this is, the way this is going, okay? I want the... Just do it. When you see the hat on, just do it. Let's practice that this little bit. <laughs> Just do it! Okay, okay fantastic. Just do it! Fantastic. You see how this is, this is going to work on me? Because that's going to stick in my mind now. I can't have this all. Chuck Chanel cap with me. Just put it on and it's going to work. So, let's move on then. So, um, let's do it. I was, I was attempting to do this without notes, but I don't know what's coming now. Just hold it for a second. <laughs> element, which is Just do it. absolutely right. I've got all the excuses. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too rich. I'm too poor. I've got too much time. Too little, little time. Oh dear. Just, Just do it. Absolutely. I could go around the houses, beat around the bush. I can chew the cud till the cows come home. I'm too, I mean, two minds, I think. I'm not sure. I'm undecided. I can't make my mind up. Oh, do tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but George, I think I, 
I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what's the lesson maybe for the wider world? Okay, so um, are you a floating boat in a navy? Are you considering your options? Um, are you dreaming about a better world? Well, Barack Obama said, yes, we can. But did we? Mm -hmm. Will we? Yeah. Um, in, in 1940, Winston Churchill said, you ask, what is our aim? I will tell you in one word, it is victory. Now that's a Chachino sort of guy, I think. Chachino sort of guy. Uh, in 1942, Mahatma Gandhi said, it is to join a struggle for such democracy that I invite you today. In 1848, Sandor Pitofi, already mentioned today, Hungarian revolutionary, wrote, by all the gods of Hungary, we hereby swear that we the yoke of slavery no more shall wear. Hmm, that was uh, Chuck Chanel. He went ahead, went ahead and did it. And in 2010, David Marks, with the assistance of his <laughs> Toastmaster friends, told himself, Just do it! <laughs> <laughs>